Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I am here with day five of May I Scrap Lift You. And today the person we are scrap lifting is Ivy Cool Creations. And you can find her on Instagram and I think maybe on YouTube as well. Um, and the cool thing about this one is she was actually doing a leftovers to layouts. And so I um, liked this uh, layout using up some scraps that I have. I have a lot of Obed Marshall and I had quit using it for a while. And so I need to dive into it and get it used. So this is the Especial. And um, I also have brought in some of my Star Wars or all of my Star Wars. Now, I'm not using it all in here, but um, this is at a May the 4th Be With You event from yesterday. So this is a layout I did for a design team challenge. And I documented some more of the May the 4th Be With You. And I used the Especial. So I wanted to go ahead and use it again for another layout that can be on a facing page. So I've got lots of papers, scraps, and all those kinds of things. I have lots of ephemera, Star Wars stuff, my cute picture of me and my bestie, and this awesome layout. So let's see how this goes. Now here's the tricky part with this. The boat, all three of the Obed Marshall collections I have are predominantly pastel. And what do you normally get with pastel? Pink. <laughs> And this is the best friend who does not do the pink. So I did pretty darn good. I don't think there's any pink on this layout. Um, orange, yellow, and blue are the predominant colors. Um, and so she has two pieces down the middle. At least that's what it looks like. And I did the same. But because I wanted to use this blue, because it's got stars on it, I just moved it over a little and gave... The back piece is bigger, and so it comes out on the other side. But I did distress the uh, torn bit of that star paper. So now I'm going to map my pictures on this paper, and it seems like I'm doing something strange because I'm putting them in different places, but <laughs> I am just avoiding pink. <laughs> yep, I am that nuts. Um, I have done layouts with pink in... Um, in them and she's just gonna have to deal with that but I, I typically try very hard not to put any pink on layouts with her so she's got some uh, little torn bits here in the middle and this piece is actually a piece I tore off of or I cut off of the layout I shared earlier um, for my design team sketch for scrapbooking the day away and then this is just a little piece of this camera paper and I cut it this way so that the pink cameras aren't on there. <laughs> I'm going to move that top one down a little bit. And um, I'm also matted that tag because it that teal was is darker than the star paper. But it still was not really popping out. So I put some yellow um, behind that so it would stand out a little bit better. So now I'm going to tape these down or put them down. Um, and get these pictures on here. So the first picture is me and her. Um, and then the second picture, we realized that my Yoda backpack was not, um, like in the picture really, other than like, you could see the little hands on my shoulder, but we decided that we would take another one with him, like peeking between us. And then my son had a little baby Grogu that's like, meta um, has a magnet and it sits on your shoulder. And so he let her borrow it. So now she's got a little baby Grogu and, um, or just Grogu and I have my Yoda backpack. So we were at a May the 4th Be With You event here in town and it was a lot of fun and we took a bunch of pictures with some um, cosplay people and stuff. So um, there will be more layouts. I don't know if they'll be the ones that I document online or not or I mean on videos but there will definitely be more videos or at least layouts of the adventures we had last night. So um, I just... <laughs> When, if you noticed, the paper that I was tearing uh, was originally a full paper, but the top corner, top left corner, the bottom right corner, 
had pink on them. So I tore that off first. I'm going to use that on another layout for this. And then um, I took the what was left and cut off two pieces so that I can do this little bits on the side. And so now I'm going to bring in a little bit of the Star Wars ephemera that I have. I have this washi tape. Now, two years ago, my family and I went to Disney World and we spent a lot of time in Galaxy's Edge and I created two complete scrapbooks of Galaxy's Edge and just Star Wars in general. One is just from a ride, one like experience and the rise of the resistance and then the other one is just all the different star wars related things that we did so <clears throat> yep i had a lot of star wars ephemera and so this is what's left over and some of what i have is like cut from a birthday card or off of a um, fruit snacks box just different things because i didn't have um, as much ephemera as i thought i might need so now I have some extras and I will be using as much of it as I can on these layouts. So, um, cause I don't know how often I have a need to scrapbook Star Wars. So this is a little tag that was in the ephemera. It may have been in on a cut apart. It just says documenting and I just was going to leave that there, but I'm going to end up actually bringing that in as my title. Um, I'm going to add something to that. And then I added a word, the little thing down there that says Star Wars. And I don't know if you can tell right now, but when you do the close-up, or when you see the close-up, um, there's a little sticker right there on top of the tag. And that is Yoda. Um, I definitely wanted to get those in. They are not lignin, acid lignin-free. So it's underneath the paper and not on top of the of the pictures. Um, I don't worry too much about that stuff, um, but if I can help it, then I will not put those right on top of a picture. So I think that it's tucked underneath the two, like, so there's paper in between that and the picture. So, um, that's really the only Star Wars ephemera I put on here, is that little Yoda. Um, I used to have some Grogu, uh, embellishments, but I may have used them all when I did... <coughs> Our Disney trip. Sorry about that. I am, my allergies are just attacking me like crazy. Um, so now I'm just going to like build some clusters in these three places. Uh, top left, bottom right, and in between the two pictures. Opposite the tag. And I'm gonna, I put like a star on the tag hole for that documenting. And then I'm just going to, these are acrylics and they're super cute. I love the acrylics that Obed Marshall has. Um, they're really easy to use. Sometimes they put some weird things in these collections and I don't know how to use them, but a lot of his stuff is, you know, kind of really good for the extra embellishments, uh, like stars and hearts and things like that that you can use on pretty much every layout. So I am going to put like this popcorn up here. I did actually get popcorn tonight, that night. Um, but you know, I kind of goes along with the whole movie theme because obviously Star Wars is movie. So I'm going to put this happy here and just title this happy documenting because that's what we were doing. And that is it. So here is her um, original layout using up some scraps and leftovers, which I love. Um, and here is mine. I'm going to do the close up so you could see all the little bits and pieces of things that I put up here. I didn't want to cover the word smile because I thought that was fun. So I did not. And there's the little Yoda and his lightsaber right there in the corner of that, the pictures. Um, and my two little clusters. So I hope you will go and check out, um, Ivy Cool Cleary um, Instagram and YouTube. If she has it, I'm almost positive she does. And I hope you'll come back and see me again really soon. Have a great day and happy scrapping.